Hello everyone and welcome back to Code Crew. So today we are looking at something super useful but often overlooked and that is how we can save API responses to a CSV file. Now this is especially handy when you are dealing with large test and you need to analyze the response data later or you need to debug some failures if they have happened during the test run or you want to simply keep a log of what your service was returning under load. Now in all of these cases we need to store the response data somewhere so we are choosing a CSV file in this video. In our example we will be hitting this API which is returning us this data. So we will be dividing this video into two phases. In the first phase we will capture the entire response in a single column in a CSV file and in the second phase we will parse each field and save the value of each of the fields in a separate columns. So in this way you will get both end of the spectrum and you can choose whatever you want to do uh, for your specific requirement. So let's start with implementation. As we want to execute this API, so we have to use HTTP request sampler in JMeter to execute the API and get the response of it. So let's go there. This is an empty test plan as of now or we can say this is a new test plan. So first we need to add a thread group. So let's say I want to execute only a single thread group and execute the API five times. Okay, so five is my loop count. Now I will add the HTTP request sampler here. Now this is my API, right? So I have to fill these fields to execute this API. Don't worry, we have mentioned everything in our video, uh, in our article here. So put HTTPS in the protocol. Use JSON placeholder dot type code uh, dot com in the server name and put the path as this okay now if you execute this api you will get this response so to visualize the response we can also add a listener here view result tree this will tell us what is the response of the api that we are executing so let's try to execute the api okay as you can see the same api was executed five times and in the response we are getting the same response that you know we were getting here now what we want is we want to save this response in csv file and as we mentioned we have divided it into two phases so in the first phase we will save this whole response in a single column okay so how we will save the response in a single column in a csv file for that we will be using the post processor and which post processor we will be using the jsr223 post processor okay so don't worry if you're not familiar with the post processor yet just know that it will help us process the response of our previous api and we can then write any amount of code or any kind of code i would say to post process that response and put it anywhere in this case we are putting the response in the csv file but first what we need to do is get the response of this API this API in here so how do we do that for that we can simply pick this line up put it here this line will get us the response of our previous API right now we need to define where we need to store this response so we need to define the file name so in our case I want to store the response in my JMeter folder let's say and we can name the file anything let's say test.csv next I have to write a code to write this response body into this file for that I can use the file writer so here is the code for the same don't worry I will explain everything on what this code actually does so in the first line we are just creating the instance of the file writer now why this value set is true because I want to append into the existing file only if I don't set it as true so let's say uh, I am hitting the request five times so each time the file will get overridden instead of appending the new row each time so this true is very important because I want to append to the existing file and not overriding the existing values right now here I am just uh, escaping the double quotes because in CSV file it sometimes create issues so I am just escaping the double quotes before putting the value in the file okay so this line is actually putting the value in the file then I am just uh, you know uh, appending a slash n so if I am getting a new call or new API response then it will be appended to the new row it won't go into the same row 
okay then i am just closing the file that is it so this code will help us put this response into this csv file so let's run the plan now okay this is done so let me go to the folder okay a test.csv file has been created and i think you can see that five rows have been made right if i can uh, yeah decrease the size of the row i am hoping you are able to see it right so this is what we wanted to do now we have accomplished our first phase where we put all of the response in a single column now what we want to do is we want to parse individual fields and put the values of each of the field in a separate column so let's say i want to put the user id value in column 1 then id value in column 2 then this will be in column 3 and this will be in column 4 now you might have guessed it right we will put everything in the post processor only so we will just have to write uh, such a code that can help us parse the response body and then i can just put individual fields in a separate separate column okay so what code do we need to write so we have written the code uh, in our article itself uh, don't worry we will also put the link of this article in the description so you can always refer to the code that we are writing throughout this video so let's scroll down where was the code So yeah, here is the code. We can just copy paste it. Paste it here. Let's just copy the name of the file. Let's name the file as test one this time. Remove the old code. Yeah. So you are familiar with these two lines, and what this code is doing? This is just parsing the response and getting the individual fields. This is escape CSV function where we are just escaping the double quotes uh, uh, within any value. Here we are appending individual values using comma. Why? Because in a CSV file, all of the columns are separated by a comma only. So that's why we are appending all of the values uh, by a comma. So they will be automatically put in a different different columns, right? Now here we are just putting the value back in the CSV file. So let's save this. and now run the test plan once again okay so the test plan is executed now let's go back to the folder uh, test one is created here you see every value is put up in a different column so this is how we can easily using the post processor put any kind of a response in a csv file and that's it for our video and now you really know how to easily save a response to a csv file and if this video helped you out please do us a favor and hit that like button it really supports the channel and if you have any questions or you are running into any issues please feel free to do, uh, drop a comment below i will reply to every comment thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one until then happy testing